Hi, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a customized password reset procedure. This could be useful, for example, when you want to create the password reset in a different language. So in this video, I will be creating a customized password reset procedure. There is a built-in one in Adelo. Um, as you may have noticed, there is a forgot password link on the login screens, which appear when you create a new app. And when you press this uh, button, there is a password reset form. And then the uh, temporary password is being created and sent to the user's email. Uh, the problem here is that this form cannot be uh, customized at the moment. So, and sometimes uh, some, in some cases it's needed. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create uh, another procedure of password reset. Uh, so this uh, procedure will uh, consist of three steps. I have already created three screens, reset password step one, step two, and step three. Uh, there's one note here that uh, it's a uh, um, uh, good idea to disable all back buttons on the app uh, uh, on the app bar here so that user cannot go back and uh, mess up with the password uh, sending emails. And uh, there is another uh, prerequisite uh, for this procedure to work. You need to have a custom actions enabled. So it's available on uh, paid plans and you need to uh, set up a send email custom action. Uh, it could be done as uh, using the instructions on adala.com uh, with the send grid or I prefer to do it with send in blue. I have set up this procedure and I will modify this one. Uh, so I have already created the screens and the button uh, reset password new leading to this new screen. Uh, the only thing which is needed before we start is the temporary property, uh, which I will uh, number property. I will call it TMP pa uh, password reset code. Pass reset code. So on the first screen, uh, we would like, I'd like to user enter his or her email and verify it. So let's add the input field and the label, which will say, please enter email. And this will be Uh, the input, uh, it's a normal input, uh, we'll make it an email. Uh, then uh, what we need uh, here is to check if a, such user exists or not. It's not a good idea to send emails to non-existent uh, email addresses. And I will create the button to continue. Uh, so the way it will work is that this button will be visible only if a user with uh, email here exists. So let's call this button continue. And uh, this uh, could be implemented with a, a single item list. So I'll make a list uh, out of this button. It's going to be a list of users. And we will add the filter. I'm adding the filter here that user email is equal to input to to the email here so that if uh, email uh, does not exist uh, the list will not the button will not appear and if email exists then uh, the button will appear to be on the safe side we can even uh, make the button invisible but uh, make it uh, visible only if uh, form input input to is equal to current user email. So like we are totally protected that this bot button will definitely not appear if a user with the such email does not exist. And upon clicking uh, this button, I'm going to direct user to the next step. So let's add the click action link to reset password step two and we are uh, here we see that there is a current user uh, so this data, data is available on this step two 
uh, on the step two uh, user will have to enter the code so let's add the form as usual will be a form uh, let's add a label please enter password reset code and this input will be a numeric input and uh, I will add the button continue uh, which leads to the password reset step 3 so this is third step and on the third screen a uh, user uh, will have to enter the new password I'm just copying these forms uh, these uh, elements because it's gonna be pretty much the same elements so please enter a new password and this form will be a password form and uh, the button will link to the login screen so we are finishing the procedure uh, now I need to add the logic because here we don't have any code here and uh, no actions with password is being defined so let's start adding some logic so on the first screen I have already created uh, the uh, list of buttons and the button which is visible only when user has uh, when the user with the email address exists so uh, now uh, I need to send the reset create and send the reset code uh, to this user so before going to uh, the step two first let's update current user and uh, I will update this TMP pass reset code uh, uh, field I'll put a random number there so it will be a random number for example between 100,000 and 999999 so it's a six digit password reset code uh, after creating this pass reset code, I need to send it uh, to the user, to this user, by email. And here I will use the custom action. Uh, this is a custom action which I have created, uh, send in blue email. Uh, however, uh, it's a generic custom action uh, and I hadn't, modified, I hadn't modified it according to the needs of password reset. So I'm going to... Uh, modify this custom action well uh, first uh, there is an API request which I, I have already created this is a header which I have and this is the sender the body of the request so what I need to put here I need to put the uh, email the recipient email and I will need to put the uh, code so let's add an input here First, it will be a text input. I will call it recipient email. And uh, example value will be, uh, okay, I'm taking my public address. And uh, let's add another input, it will be a code. So I'm adding the new input I'll call calling it a code and example value value will be say 1 million and uh, now I need to add these two uh, inputs 
to the body. So first to email, I'm deleting this one. And here's the magic text button. I'm adding recipient email. Uh, and name, uh, okay, let's call it Adala user. Subject, password reset. And I will change the text here to please see the password reset code. And here is the code. So uh, this is the uh, request, the API request. Let's run this test request. So Yes, it works. I can save the custom action. And as uh, the request has been uh, modified, uh, as you can see, there is a uh, two few, there are two fields here, recipient email and the code. So we can take recipient email from input two, uh, and we can take, uh, I can take the code from logged in user, pass reset code. And uh, all actions on the screen are ready. So we are, what I'm doing here, I'm updating the user, uh, setting the code. Then I'm sending the email to the user with email from this uh, field and uh, the code from the user property. And uh, uh, I continue to the screen too. Okay, I'm finished with step one. Uh, let's continue to step two. Uh, here I need to check that the uh, code uh, which has been received by the user and user enters is correct. So uh, let's rename this uh, text input to a different one. Uh, code input. So it's easier to recognize uh, the correct input. We have a type number and uh, enter code here and uh, before going to step three uh, I need to check if the code is correct so let's add an action uh, first of all the uh, link should work only if the code is correct and we'll make it uh, working uh, uh, make it conditional so it will happen sometimes only if uh, code input is equal to current user. Ah, uh, it's better to do it vice versa. Uh, only if current user pass reset code is equal to code input. So uh, this can work only this in this way. And uh, to make it uh, work similarly as uh, the button on the step one. Uh, maybe it's a good idea to make it uh, partially visible, sometimes visible as well. So changing the vis visibility it will be visible if current user pass reset code is equal to code input. Okay, so now uh, this button will, will appear only if the code is correct and will work only if the code is correct. So step two is finished. Uh, let's continue to step three. Here, there is a small problem with this input. It was copied incorrectly and I need to replace it. And uh, so it will be a password input. Make it a password type so that nobody can see the new password. Uh, placeholder is enter new password and uh, uh, upon pressing finish uh, I need to update uh, the current user 
uh, with a new password. So password will be changed to form input pass input. And again, uh, I think it's a good idea to make it uh, this button visible only if something has been entered here. So uh, let's change the visibility. Sometimes visible, it will be visible if form input pass input is not equal to empty. So if the form is empty, button will not appear. Uh, so uh, the whole procedure is set up. Uh, now let's test it. Okay, uh, so after first test, uh, I found a couple of small mistakes. Uh, I mixed logged in user and current user. Uh, so here there is a mistake uh, that I added logged in user. Of course, it should be a current user. Probably I did this automatically. And uh, uh, here for the conditional visibility, I also for some reason added logged in user instead of current user. So uh, I need to uh, set visibility for current user. And here, just in case, uh, yes, this is a current user. So let's test. So here's the reset password. Uh, I'm going to use another email address. So for example, uh, there are two users here. So this user exists, as you see, continue button has appeared. I'm pressing continue. Uh, now I need to enter a password reset code. Button is not here. And uh, if I enter something, it does not appear. Let's check the email. So you see that uh, this user has received the password reset code. Uh, let me copy this code go back to the application and enter the code. And as you can see, the button appears. And now I need to enter the new password. I will enter, say, and finish. And now I will try to log in with the new password. So everything works correctly. So this is a basic way to create a custom uh, password recovery procedure. It could be enhanced with more security measures like SMS, but for the beginning I think uh, this is pretty sufficient. Hope you like it and thank you. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you liked it. So it, as you have discovered, uh, it's not that difficult to create a customized password reset procedure. Uh, subscribe to my channels to see more videos about Adalo. Thank you and uh, please share your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Goodbye.